I'm just going to make a quick small video here as it takes far too long to upload videos using this camera. You know, I've never um, talked about September 11th before. Um, the only time I've uploaded a video on the date is when Richard Keel passed away and I had a tribute video to him uh, three years ago. Um, but I've always been like hesitant to upload on days like this, uh, dates like this rather. Um, the world just changed, totally changed um, 16 years ago. I was actually talking about <clears throat> last week with a friend because I returned to a Christian group last week um, and the guy that runs it more or less I went to school with and we were discussing September 11th and how we both remember where we were and when it happened, I remember I would have been at secondary school, third year, 13 years old, almost 14. Um, I remember coming home, my mum, I can remember my mum doing the ironing and Sky News was on and it just looked like a film on a TV. I couldn't believe that this was actually real and happening. And then we had a assembly the next day at school talking about, praying about, um, but I've just, you know, I've been a bit hesitant to uh, talk about such tragic events like this on YouTube or making videos on the, on the date. Um, what, what more can I say that hasn't already been said? Um, never forget for sure. And hopefully one day we'll be free of terror, but I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon, unfortunately. Um... As I mentioned, I did return to this faith group. Now, I said to the guy, it's a Christian group, I said to him, um, I don't fully believe all this stuff um, people go on about in this Christian group. I, There's a part of me that still believes that Jesus Christ might just be a fictional character in a fictional book. And I said that. I like being honest with people. And there's another part of me that thinks it might be true. And then there's another part of me that thinks there is something else out there, another God out there, but it might not be what the Christians think it is. But I've decided to keep going back to this group as the people there are very friendly. And I did miss them. I went a few times uh, last year. Um, so I'm going to continue going, continue having these open discussions with them about lots of different topics, you know, just life in general. And I feel like it's becoming one of the few places I can go where I can have these open discussions without feeling need to be politically correct. I hate political correctness. That's just it's ruining our society, political correctness. We can't laugh at each other anymore. Oh me. I'm always laughing at myself. I think I'm a clown on YouTube. You know, I always, you know, sit back and laugh at me. I think it's healthy, you know. To not take yourself too seriously and enjoy life and laugh, laugh and laugh some more. I think that's what it's all about and just being yourself and as long as you're not harming anybody else by being yourself and, you know, helping people when you can. I need to help uh, others more often. Um, um, I'm all for building people up. Um, so yeah, it was nice to be back at this faith group and just having been open and being honest with people. Um, you know, it's uh, kind of difficult sometimes when you've got political beliefs like I do, you know. I'm going to say it now, um, I won't mention this again, I won't mention any politics for a while in here, as I can't be bothered with all the backlash, but coming out as a Trump supporter is way, diff way more difficult than coming out as gay in the UK. Or, or any of, you know, the places in the country where being gay is okay. Now I identify as bi. I'm a bi guy for Trump. Perhaps I'll be proven wrong. But right now I'm all for Trump 2020 and um, I got some backlash from some friends. Um, I think I'm misguided or brainwashed. I think they're the ones that are brainwashed. But, I, you know, I'm all, all for different matters of opinion. Um... I think it's healthy to have an open debate about things and bring our creative minds together and make the world a better place like that. You know, <clears throat> there's lunatics on the left, there's lunatics on the right. I had to block one of my um, Trump fans, friends, if you will, because he was just 
being a bit insane about Madonna moving country. Um, I blocked him and he's far right, but I've seen a lot of lunacy in the far left too. And um, But in my opinion, I feel like um, I'd much rather have Trump, President Trump, than President Clinton for sure. Anyways, that's just my opinion for I make a sweet short video here. Hope you're all good, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll be back again very soon.